Okay, this is something a little different, you guys. This is just a random video that I saw when I was on YouTube a few days ago, and I decided to put it in my uh, to watch list for later viewing. It's called Funniest Live TV News Interviews Gone Wrong. I honestly don't know that there's going to be much commentary I can add to this, but I was just kind of in the mood for just some pure laughter. Well, I guess it depends on how how funny I really feel like this this is, but I've seen some pretty funny TV blooper type things, you know, like news bloopers. So I'm curious to find out if it's going to be similar, similarly hilarious to that. So let's check this out. I just kept hearing it. I'm ducking and everything. Died in the house. I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. <laughs> Can I ask you, if you won all the money, what would you do with it? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> we were hoping for a different answer. That's probably not the answer that we're looking for. Well, the sign says that it's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. Yeah. So if my math is correct, that's not an hour. That's not an hour. Not an but hour. it is. <laughs> and also, <laughs> a quarter to minutes. And also, my mom thinks I'm a baby, so I can't walk to school sometimes. And also, she thinks I need a need protective gear when I need to ride a bike. You probably do. I think I agree with your mom. I know how to ride a bike already, even without protective gear. Oh. Did you really snatch an 86 year old woman's purse? She wants to hurt me. And the bitch don't even know me. I hope that they beat her ass. Some of the women in prison beat her ass every day for as <laughs> long as she's in there. Some people might say that's harsh. Well, so what, what she did to me was even worse. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. I told him I was going to kill him all that with a gun if he didn't get out of my house. When I pulled the gun out on him, I guess he didn't think it was a real gun because he he didn't worry about it. He just kept on walking. When he was coming downstairs and told me he was going to kill me and F you, all that, I shot through a hamper that he was carrying, and it, went, it was a full metal jacket bullet. I went straight through the bag of him and was like, and he started crying like a little baby. Charles, why did you come so early this <laughs> Good morning, man? Good for him for protecting himself. The reason why I come so early just to celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday because I feel it's really good to call because, you know, because, you know, when Martin Luther King's birthday uh, uh, comes on January, I would say uh, it's important to always call to celebrate the birthday, Martin Luther King birthday because it really is important and it's good. My friend okay. came to the door, she said, well, I was on the phone cooking me and my baby some breakfast. And she said, hey, something wrong is popping. I said, what? She said, yeah. <laughs> I said, no. So the girl come downstairs. She come out her apartment with her baby with no shoes on. I said, oh, girl, it's cold outside. She said, something ain't right. I said, oh, man. She said, oh, man, <laughs> the building is on fire. Oh, I think I've I said, no, what? I got my three kids and we bounced out. I think oh, I've seen this done no to a fire. song. Not today. Sir, can you please tell us what happened? You know, I'm in the room, chilling, kicking like I usually do, drinking. And somebody shot right through my back window, hit me in the chest. And I'm like, shit, get my son out the room. You know, I wasn't even tripping over it. It's like a little petty wound, you know? I ain't even tripping, though. Absolutely. So you did show me on your chest where you were shot. Are we able to see that right now? Or? Yeah, y'all can see that. Oh. Okay, so what, do, do we know what happened? Do you know who, who do you know why they would have done this? I don't know what's going on, man. I just know niggas probably just want me dead, like, on some other stuff. I don't know. All right, well, I'm here. And what's your name? Devon. All right, well, I'm just talking to Devon, and I can't believe all that just happened. Well, I just had got done feeding my chickens, watering them and stuff, and uh -huh. I walked back to my house there to get my phone so I could play a video game on it. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, I heard a big boom. I looked back out my door, and the electric pole fell, and the lines was falling, and the jail tacklers sideways into the fence. And there's a guy come out screaming and squalling <laughs> and uh, running around. About like a chicken with head cut off. But I told him he need to get out of that water. But say I didn't know he was getting eat up by bees. I thought he was just high. That girl in that little bikini, she had a little red dot. I thought, oh, here. Think they learned their lesson? I say about the day they are. If they feel like my leg feels, I say they're learning. What is your um, your dad and what oh, will think I've about all this? Because this I'm before. sure that he's an athlete. So is he an athlete, your dad? Yeah, my dad was an athlete, but now he's um 
pretty fat. <laughs> yeah. He, he used to he used to eat like two liters of ice cream every single night, like of those Murray salt caramel ones. And then he used to get really angry at mum because mum didn't always buy it for him. Yeah. But then mum. But when Dad got really angry, Mum started buying it for him all the time. Yeah. And then he had to suck his gut in for photos. It was really funny. I know, he's flopped. How fat's your dad now? Um, but, but Dad, um, he's actually lost um, 20 kilograms since Christmas. Yeah. Because oh. he's seen me eating so healthy because I've been inspired by Sally. Yeah. So now oh. he's just eating cucumbers. And <laughs> so he was like 105 since Christmas, and now he's like 81. Wow. Whoa. How did it happen? Um, yeah, you know, we had a few odd man rushes there in the first period, which was uh, not good for us, but I mean, everyone had their nerves going and everything like that, and then, which we were glad to just keep them to one and everything like that, and then we went back in the, after the period in the locker room, just talked about what we need to fix and everything like that, stick to the game plan, get back on it and everything like that, so just paid off, stick to the game plan, you know, Stiffen up defense and everything like that. No pinches, everything like that. You uh, moving on to the semifinals. Your uncle, Stu, played here a while back, uh, I think 20 years ago with Alexandria. Did you get any advice from him coming in here to the tournament? Um, yeah, I got a nice uh, long text from him this morning saying uh, don't let the atmosphere, uh, you know, get your nerves shaken up and everything like that. Just play your game, which is what I try to do out here and everything like that. So, yeah. Definitely help from him and everything like that. Moving on to the semifinals, you get Stillwater. Your initial thoughts on the big matchup? Um, it should be a great game. I can't wait to play him. I know they're uh, doing good. Only one loss on the season, I believe, and everything like that. And we're ready for him. Flossie, you say you're a little... Um, what did I miss on that on that one right before this? It wasn't... I, I, don't, I don't get what went wrong. What went wrong? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Only one loss on the season, I believe, and everything like that. And we're ready for him. Flossie, stuff in the you say you're a little tired this morning. Is that right? I am tired. She is very tired. I'm That's awesome. actually, I heard, your favorite activity to do at the center here is to take take a little nap. Take a nap many times as I can. You sound like a very busy lady. Yes. Later today, Flossie's family is going to be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> what would you, ra you would rather be taking a nap, huh? Oh my goodness. Flossie, the people on TV there. want to know what the secret is to being able to live so long. I don't know. I don't fight it. I don't live it. She doesn't fight it. She lives it. Any mm -hmm. secret food or anything we can all be eating every day to, to stay as alive as long as you? No. I heard a big noise sound like a truck. I said, what in the world is that? Mm. So I was finna get out. He said, no, you ain't. He said, I said, what is that, Al? He said, that's a tornado. So he let the witness up and held me down in the seat. And I was hollering, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It was down and it went up and went right over my van. Thank you, Lord. But that's what happened. It come right over my head. I can't even imagine the feelings you guys must have been going through. So you actually helped her you get her down. down, right, Alan? Yep, I told her to lay down and I covered her over. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever been through a tornado no, before? I never seen one in my life. When you look around at all the damage, I mean, what, what, have, what kind of damage have you guys seen? It was just, I never, it stopped flying in the air. I guess what it done took up here. It was flying out in the air. So it went to the right behind the slaughterhouse. Then it, it went up, wasn't it? Then it come back down and it then went on around. When you look down at yourselves and you see that you're okay, what, what goes through your mind seeing that you're all right? That God had an angel over us. And that's what I see. God is good because that van, it tipped it a little bit. And that, that tornado just went over that van because it came straight to us. And when I said, Jesus, 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 that tornado went up over his van. What happened? Oh, well, it's Very really lucky. quite funny. I was, I was in bed sleeping at uh, 2 o'clock this morning. My wife comes in and says, oh, the shop's been, uh, someone ran into the shop. And I said, oh, what? So I jumped out of bed and all I had was my undies on and I've walked out the front and <laughs> yeah. I've seen uh, the car smashed and I've seen the bloke 
walking back to the car. Oh, well, uh, I tried stopping him and say, hey, mate, you, like, don't be taken off. Like, you've just crashed into the shop. Oh, he goes, oh, mate, I fell asleep behind the wheel. And I'm like, yeah, right, oh, mate. Well, you still don't be fleeing the scene. And he goes, don't be a hero, mate. I wasn't trying to be a bloody hero. I wasn't trying to be a hero. I was just uh, uh, chasing him down the street and... He was supposed to stop. And he just decided he'd scoot up the road, and I just said, nah, it's not going on like that, mate. You <laughs> ran down the street in blade. your jocks. Yeah, in my undies. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Chasing down the street in my undies, and then he started getting too far, and I'm like, oh, well, I better catch up to him quicker and come back home and got my car. And started chasing oh, him up the street in my little purple car. And then he went down a side street, <laughs> and then the police were coming, and I flashed him and sent them off in the direction of him. Well, there you go, a possible career in law enforcement for you, Daniel. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it's, it's a head start, isn't it? <laughs> but, mate, all I had was me jocks on. I, all, I was chasing him up the street, and I'm just like, mate, like... Because you, you told me that this is your mate's shop yeah. and you didn't want him to get away. Oh, yeah, no, nah, nah, it's... It, well, me mate's mum's had this shop for, like, 40-odd years, and uh, look at it. Look at it. Now, I'm not going to ask you if you've committed any crimes, but oh are God. you expecting a reward... <laughs> for your amazing Neighbourhood Watch work here this morning. Uh, yeah, handshake from me, mate, and I got it this morning. Oh, wouldn't you like to live next door to yeah. Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Woo-hoo! Yes. Good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, thanks a lot. And uh, Daniel has just become the local neighbourhood hero here. Oh, sign that thanks man lot, up. Guys. Thanks Find a lot, guys. Thanks a neighbourhood watch. That guy needs his own show. He doesn't. That's Fantastic. what I mean. Sign him up. That's yeah. one of your best interviews ever, Michelle. Yeah. Show back in Sydney. Yeah. Would you like your own show? Oh, if I'm going to be with Koshi, I will. Oh. There you go, Koshi. And you sign. You know, all good superheroes wear their jocks on the outside, so True. it kind of fits the brief. Yeah. Pardon the pun. Yeah, oh, but no. I had nothing on but me jocks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lisa. <laughs> well, you missed that bit of the uniform, but that's OK. You're a hero in our eyes. Wow. Well done, Daniel. Yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. Goes to really? show yeah. what you can achieve in your underwear. Well, um, we'd been down at Options Tavern at a Stubbies and Singlets party and uh, Beautiful. got dropped off by a mate up the road and decided to walk down the survey, get some noodles and uh, went to jump over a sign on the way and <laughs> slipped over and busted my plugger. <laughs> <laughs> Australia. <laughs> oh, busted a plugger. <laughs> so, oh, so you've got a busted plugger. I see we've got shorts pulled. Okay, okay. I'm going to admit, I don't know what a plugger is. I, I'm not sure. Um, whatever it is, it's really funny. It's cracking these people up. But I'm getting tickled just at watching them get tickled. So, uh, so you've got a busted plugger. I see we've got shorts, but <laughs> what, what are you seeing that's happening at the servo? So, um, pretty, was pretty, pretty concerned about my blowout I had, and um, <laughs> looked up and yeah, looked up and saw saw a white Commodore pull up, two blokes with shirts around their faces, and yeah. Yeah, and sort of thought something's a bit sus, so better go and check it out. <laughs> but you look like you got you look like you got reasonable guns. You've been working out in the gym. You, you look reasonable, buddy. Mate, I don't go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in years. The only gym I go to is Jim Beam. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> James, James, it's all me here. I've got to ask. I understand you're married. What did, what did your wife make of all this when you got home and told her what had happened? Oh. I'm not actually married as yet. That was my manager that hacked my Facebook and uh, oh, wow. I was getting married. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, she was, she was more concerned that I broke the brand new pair of pluggers that she bought me on Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> what are pluggers? Yeah, of course. Hey, uh, James, have you managed to get yourself a new pair of pluggers? Yeah. Mate, I've, um, I've got the team, Muddangers Fishing Team. They're going to sort me out with some. Um, and what was that name of the fishing? Unit helping me out. The who? The, te- the team, mo- team Muddangers. Look them up on Facebook and give them a like. <laughs> you had to ask. You had to ask. And, um... I thought that was what he said, <laughs> and I thought we'd just want to go through it. Everybody. You're the reason I came back from holidays. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't like, get any better. Right, folks, better that's this. our show for the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so there was that. Um, it ended up being pretty much exactly 
sort of like what I figured that it was just going to be a lot of chuckles and not a lot of commentary that I can add to it. I do admit to being a little clueless about some of the, like with this guy, whatever it is he's talking about, pluggers or pluggers or whatever. I have no idea what that is. It's obviously a regional term, like from over there. I don't know. Okay. Gold Coast. Um, and then the thing the interview with the with the hockey player guy. I don't get what was what went wrong with that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little slow because it is kind of late. And um, anyway, I don't know. So, yeah, I I don't have anything really to add to this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug on this one. I hope you guys found this as hilarious as I did. <laughs> My face hurts from the laughing. So it's good that this is over now. All right, you guys. Bye. Bye.